Upon receiving the Smart Pro, you'll find that it comes in a durable, custom molded protective case. To open the case, simply put all of the four red locking tabs in the upright position and release the latches to open the case. The items that you will find enclosed in the Smart Pro's case will be the quick setup guide, which is used for setting up the Smart Pro. You also have the power adapter as well as the power cord, which is used for charging your Smart Pro. You have the Smart Pro unit itself. You also have the ADC 2004 USB cable, which is used for updating the Smart Pro. You have the pin saver here, which is used to protect the pins on the Smart Pro unit itself. You also have the ADC 2001 adapter, which is used with the MVP Pro and the Tico Pro Pro's cable. You also have the ADC 2000B OBD2 cable, which is used for programming functions. Lastly, we have the credit card USB, which has the serial number, the passcode, and also if you flip it over here and put a little pressure on the back, you'll see it pops out into a USB, which also has the manual on it. Before you power on your Smart Pro, you need to firstly make sure that the unit is fully charged. To charge the Smart Pro, simply get your power cord here, as well as your power adapter, and plug them into each other. Then you're gonna take the other end of your power cord and plug it into a power source. You should then get a blue indicator on your power adapter. You can then take the other end of the power adapter and plug it into the Smart Pro itself. Note that you will get a blinking yellow light. This indicates that the Smart Pro is now charging. The unit is fully charged when the yellow light turns solid. To turn on the Smart Pro, simply press the power on button. Once you get to this screen, you'll see where it says, please enter your passcode. You can find your passcode on your credit card USB. I'm going to enter that now. And now you're at the registration screen.